Good evening and a very warm welcome to Ending the Day with God on Saturday the 4th of May. Our opening music today was Thomas Tallis's Lamentations. Let us pray. The light and peace of the risen Lord Jesus be with you. And also with you. The glory of the Lord has risen upon us. Let us rejoice and sing God's praise for ever. Faithful one whose word is life, come with saving power to free our praise, inspire our prayer, and shape our lives for the kingdom of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Easter Anthems. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast. Not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying he died to sin once for all. In living he lives to God. See yourselves therefore as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. Over the last few days, we've been looking at the topic of silence in the Bible. This evening's reading and reflection come under the title, Silent for Our Sakes. And the reading comes from Isaiah chapter 53. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he did not open his mouth. Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that it is before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By a perversion of justice he was taken away. Who could have imagined his future? For he was cut off from the land of the living, stricken for the transgressions of my people. They made his grave with the wicked and his tomb with the rich, although he had done no violence and there was no deceit in his mouth. Thanks be to God. We come now to this evening's reflection. Our excerpt from Isaiah, from a passage often entitled The Suffering Servant, is one of the most often quoted of the Hebrew prophetic writings. Since the days of the early church, Christians have seen it as a prophecy about the Messiah, the one who will come to bear the sins of the world. It forms a central text for many Advent and Christmas services. It resonates both with John the Baptist's entitling of Jesus as the Lamb of God and with the Gospel descriptions of him refusing to answer questions at his trial. As he hangs on the cross, Jesus will be taunted by the crowd. If he really is God's Son, why does he not command an army of angels to rescue him. Their taunts have been referred to as Christ's last temptation. Yet to have spoken such words of power would have been a denial of his destiny. Instead, he has to trust in his heavenly Father, whose own silence he feels deeply at that moment. His call is to endure and in due time to commend his spirit into God's hands. 
This silence has not been to defend himself, nor to avoid further challenge. It is not for his own sake. It is for the sake of those for whom he has come to accomplish his mission. He is silent so that we might have a voice before heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, for our sake you suffered in silence before your torturers, even to the very point of death, that we might have an advocate in heaven. Help us this day to be grateful for your love, which through pain and persecution held you to your purpose. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, King of the universe. To you be glory and praise for ever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. To you be glory and praise for ever. When the time had fully come, you sent the Son of Righteousness. In him the fullness of your glory dwells. To you be glory and praise for ever. Now, as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In darkness and in light, in trouble and in joy, help us, Heavenly Father, to trust your love, to serve your purpose and to praise your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. A light no darkness can quench. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. The darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day. Let your light scatter the darkness and fill your church with your glory. Amen. Amen. 